I was always told when the pahutakawa is blooming, the kinnas are fat. Now this pahutakawa's got a bit of bloomage. Let's see how fat those kinna are. All right, tools of the kinna trade. You're gonna want some gloves, because these things are spiky. I wanna spike your hand. Knife to get them off, and a sack to put them in. We're out there. Now, ideally, you want to go and get your kaimoana at low tide. I've kind of almost missed it. The tide's coming in a bit more than I thought it would, but I reckon we'll still be sweet. So basically, all you're doing is you're just feeling in between the rocks for something spiky. And that's the kinna. And that's why you got your gloves on. And then when you find one, sometimes you don't even have to use a knife. You just pull it off. That's eatable. All right, once you've got your kinna, all that's left to do is eat them. Now, we're gonna be using an ancient Māori recipe. Pretty much just crack them open and eat them raw. Here we go. What you want to eat is these yellowy orange bits. That's the row. That's actually really yum. So that's Coco cooking, minus the cooking. <laughs>